It was just a matter of weeks ago that we got our first look at the new 2021 Mercedes S-Class. And we knew when we saw that car that it was only the jumping off point. There'd be many new models to follow after it. So today we're picking up the baton with the fancy kid in the family, the Mercedes Maybach S580. And as you'd imagine, there's a lot to see. So this is a Mercedes Maybach, which means you get a lot of Mercedes, but at the same time with this car, design touches that are exclusive to it. And starting at the car's face, you see a lot more chrome detailing to make it stand out from the standard S-Class. We have this Maybach exclusive grille with the vertical slats and then the word Maybach, but you do get the Mercedes crest that rests atop. In terms of paint, there's a lot to talk about here. We have 15 monotone colors to choose from and 10 two-tone options. The one you're looking at here is called Kalahari Gold put over Rubellite Red. You like it? You can probably tell just from looking at this thing, but it is absolutely massive. Compared to the regular S-Class, there are seven additional inches in the wheelbase, and all of that space goes to the back seat, which we'll see in just a minute. But before we hop inside, let's talk a few more of these design details that are specific to the Maybach. These wheels, they're 20-inch monoblock design wheels that come standard on the car, but there's a 21-inch wheel option that mimics the design of the champagne flutes that are in the back seat of the car. No, I'm not kidding. As we move alongside of the vehicle, there's obviously a lot more chrome detailing, just like we saw uh, up front. And we get these door handles, which slide in and out of the bodywork. Moving all the way to the rear of the car, there is another Maybach crest. And if you look at some of the footage, it actually lights up at night when you approach the car and unlock it. But all of that has nothing on this. When your rear doors are this big, you definitely can't be bothered to open and close them themselves, so Mercedes has an automatic option to do it for you. Now we're gonna spend the majority of our time in the back seat, but the front seat, specifically the driver's seat, has a lot to point out, especially in the tech department, as you might imagine, because this is based on the new S-Class. That means we get the new MBUX infotainment system with the center 12-point inch display and the additional uh, digital instrument cluster in front of the driver. That also means we get the super advanced head-up display, which has augmented reality navigation. So that means you get these little arrows that project onto the screen and show you onto the street you're about to turn on. There are some things that are specific to the Maybach, and as we go into the system right here, it starts with the ambient lighting. Now, you can get the ambient lighting package in the regular S-Class, but specific to the Maybach is this last color option, which is rose gold and white. So as we go back, we can also see with this camera system, I told you about those champagne wheels. They're not physically on the car yet, but Mercedes showed me this Easter egg. They're actually on the uh, projected image of the car when you go through the parking sensor. So you can see what that wheel design looks like here. Lastly, there's a Maybach specific driving mode, which is supposed to be even more comfortable than the comfort mode. So it optimizes the ride quality, the suspension comfort for those in the back seat when you're driving in the Maybach mode. Welcome to the back seat. Can't get over those doors. Uh, we also have these throw pillows, but I'm gonna put that aside for a second. So like I said, seven additional inches that were all added uh, in space to the back seat of this Maybach. So immediately what you can do is take this seat and go into full recline mode. You can hold this button and as that does, the passenger seat moves forward like this and slowly over time, the seat that I'm in goes to a near full recline. I'm not that tall. I'm five foot eight, but I was sitting earlier with somebody else in the car who's six three, and they said that this is the first car that they've actually been able to completely recline in. The rear seats are both massaging, they're heated, and they're ventilated. And when you turn on the heating, it heats up your panels as well. So your right and left arms can be nice and toasty while you're getting uh, a heated seat. When you go into the massage programs for the car, this is the first Mercedes-Benz to offer a calf massage. So if you were previously unhappy with all the options you had, know that they're taking care of you there. This is also a second command center for MBUX. So this little tablet that's right here next to me, 
pops out of the center console like this, and I can control basically everything from the car here. I can send the driver a destination that they want to take me to. I can control the radio. I can play my own music through the phone. So this controls everything that the center displays up front do, and you can also control them with the displays that are in front of us in the rear seats. The last thing to mention is the sound system in here. It is a Burmester 4D surround system with 30 speakers in the car. Now, 4D, I gotta be honest with you, I don't really know what that means, but they did a demo earlier, and there are two massive subs in the trunk right behind me, and you can actually feel the sub through the seat, so it's a more immersive experience, Mercedes says. All I know is it was pretty much the best sound system I've ever heard in a car, right here in the back seat of the Maybach. The Mercedes Maybach S580 will go on sale next year as a 2021 model year. Now the company's not willing yet to talk about price, but they did say the order books will be open in just a matter of days.